Thank you for your support. I know that you've only been my doctor for a few days, but since Dr Rawlins has been away, it's been a great comfort to me to know that you've been here. You may have been surprised by our recent conversations, but I know you are on my side and believe what I want is right. You are very understanding. I am determined to go through with this, Dr Maguire. Can't go on. No animal would be allowed to suffer this pain. I know I can count on you. Thank you for all your help. These may be the ramblings of an old woman, but I think we understand each other. With many thanks, Jessie Help. Jessie was in a great deal of pain, Inspector. I told Nurse Gibson that I was going to out increase the morphine dosage and that I'd take the new prescription rather in the morning. But you forgot to do this? Yes, I forgot. I had a lot on my mind. Lucky for you, though. How do you mean? Well, if you had brought the extra morphine tablets round, you can see why Nurse Gibson might have thought that Jessie had taken them all to kill herself. But that's not what happened. I'm not saying it is. But you were the last person to see Jessie Helm alive. I believe so. Good. Interview concluded at 0930 hours. Thank you, Dr. McGuire. I think that's everything. She knew how much I... Of course she did. I'll make a satay. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Oh, yes, that's nice. Suit you. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. That's the last agency on the list, so there's no hope of finding a replacement for Joe today. Well, manage. Don't worry about it. I only hope that... Hey, feels better soon. Yeah. What's up with her this morning, anyway? I'm not sure. Just wasn't feeling well, that's all. Day in bed's the best thing for her. Yeah. If I was Kate, I'd be sneaking off to do some last-minute Christmas shopping. Hey, I'm only saying... We know what you're only saying, Caroline. Oh, happy Christmas to you and all. Caroline, you know Mac's got a lot on his mind. Oh, come on, Ruth. Patients die all the time. Well, Jessie was Joe's grandmother. Yeah, but she had good innings. It wasn't as though it was a surprise. You're supposed to be in bed. Let's just say I'm feeling better. Oh, we're certainly glad to see you. Where's Mac? In his cave. Hi. Hi, um, I'm just going out. Got to, um... Last minute Christmas shopping? Yeah, something like that. Be long. I'm saying nothing. Call yourself a doctor. Thought you weren't well. Exactly. I don't understand. Never mind. I came to wish you a happy Christmas. Ah. Huh? Daddy. What do you mean? Yeah. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> she was such a fighter, a survivor. Yeah, well, some things you just can't fight, Dad. No. It was a brain tumour. The doctors couldn't operate. It was just a matter of time. Life was so precious to her. Yeah, well, it's done now, isn't it? What do you mean? But Nan wouldn't want us to be punishing ourselves now. She's gone, would she? She went peacefully. And everyone has a right to a dignified death, don't they? You sound like that doctor. Dad. I can't stop thinking about what that nurse said. She knew something was going on. She knew. Nothing happened. So where did all their morphine tablets come from all of a sudden? And where did they go? Nan was in pain, Dad. You saying she could have killed herself? I don't know! We shouldn't be allowed to get away with it. This playing God with other people's lives. Someone's got to pay. You can't just get away with murder. Rudolph the red nose reindeer. 
Oh, have you made me one? Yep. You're in a happy mood. Oh, I've come to a decision, haven't I? Oh, yeah, what's that about? Can't tell. Rana. Can you keep a secret? I spent three years in the brownies and I'm trying to kill a man with my bare hand. Ah. Can't tell. <laughs> OK. I've decided... Where's Steve? Uh, in his room. OK, I'll find him. Don't anybody move. <laughs> What's up with him? I'm really not allowed to say. Oh, this is ridiculous. We have ways of making you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the middle of a phone call, man. Come on, Steve, you can wait. Oh, why? What for? You'll see. Oh, yes? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Very funny. I'm sorry, Mac. They forced it out of me. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Good with it. Brilliant. I'm sorry if I missed something here. <laughs> this is becoming a bit like brief encounter. Yeah. Oh, I've been dying to see you. Here. More for me, really, I suppose. Thanks. Helen? Something wrong? Oh, God, you're not. No, I'm not pregnant. Well, what is it, then? You're right, this is like a film. Only not like Brief Encounter. More like... the end of the affair. Right. I want to know what's going on, and I want to know now. I can't tell you, not before everyone else. Rana, if you don't... All right, all right. I'm resigning. Resigning? Why? Because... I'm not happy here. Who is, for heaven's sake? That's no reason to jump ship. Hang on, hang on. It wasn't that long ago that I was trying to persuade you not to resign. That was different. Was it? So, where are you going? Cyberspace. Oh, right. This isn't me. I'm not the kind of woman that has affairs. You've been doing a pretty good impersonation of one so far. I realise now I've been running away, escaping, pretending to be someone else for a while. It's been fun. Fun? It's been wonderful. In every way. But Ruth at the practice knows. She's a friend. And I'm pretty sure Joe knows, which means it's only a matter of time before everyone does. You're worrying too much. This morning on the phone, I lied to Phil. I did it without thinking. I do it all the time. It's become so easy. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. I'm not blaming you. It's just it's gone too far. I don't want to lose my marriage. I don't want to lose my children. I want my old life back. You're right. It's not fair on you. I should have seen that this was going to happen. Do you mean that? I don't like it, but yes, I do mean it. It was rather it was the other way around. You could stop being the old Helen, but... I can't. I wish I could, but I can't. I know. So, uh, that's that. It's going to be the next big thing. Doctor's talking to patients online. NHS Direct? No, same kind of thing, but this will be my own business. I'm going nowhere here, you know. Mac doesn't appreciate me. 
Well, if you're just fed up with Mac's attitude... It's not just that. Working online is going to make me more efficient. Think about how many patients I'll be able to deal with. They'll be able to access me 24 hours, seven days a week when they're actually ill. Not three days later when we fitted them in for an appointment. It's not just about me. It's the way of the future. Well, it sounds like you've got it all worked out. I have. Well then, good luck. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. What do you mean? Well, there's still one thing standing in my way. I haven't told Mac yet. Oh dear. Steve, the very man. Look, uh, I'm going to try and organise a bit of do for Kate tonight after surgery, celebrate the good news. Great. Thing is, I've got a, an afternoon full of patients, so I wondered if you could just sort out the booze and the food for me, yeah? You're a good man. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Oh, sorry. Helen, you're back. Oh, sorry about disappearing like that, Kate. That's oh, okay. Go on, then. What? Congratulations are in order. You mean you're pregnant? Are you sure? Absolutely, I did three tests. Oh, Kate, I am so pleased. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. <laughs> Looks like today isn't turning out so bad after all. Hello. Hello, you. You busy? Hi. As you fancy being Father Christmas? <laughs> This isn't going to take long, Inspector. We'll be as quick as we can, but you must remember we are investigating a suspicious death. Possibly a murder. Now, as the nurse responsible for Jessie Helm, did she at any time indicate to you that she wanted to die? Yes. She asked me outright if I'd help her. I said no. And do you know if she discussed this with anyone else? Yes. She asked Dr Maguire to help her to die. Goodbye. Goodbye. And have a Merry Christmas. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Yes! Right, where's the booze? It'll be here in a minute. Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a bottle of white in the fridge. <laughs> I'm not sure this is a good idea. I've got everything sorted, honest. No, I mean, it doesn't seem like having a party. Well, that's not what Jessie would say if she was here. True. I've, uh, found it. <laughs> Woo! Hey! Ooh! Joe's upset, Mac. Yeah, I know she is, but you know my position on voluntary euthanasia. I mean, ethics aside, I'd be out of my head to do something like that. Public humiliation, if it ever got out. I might be struck off, could be sent to prison. Well, at least the police are happy with everything. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Carol. Cheers. So that's it? For now, yes. Oh, I don't believe this. Assisted death is a very complicated issue, Mr. Helm. Then stop calling it that and use its proper name. Euthanasia. The last time I heard, that was still a crime in this country. That doctor's covering up. Why else was he so eager to sign the death certificate, eh? Oh, hi, Phil. Great to see you. Hi, Danny. What are you doing here? Oh, and a Merry Christmas to you, too. We've been Christmas shopping. <laughs> Good. So, are you coming home? Oh, well, um... Well, actually, we're going to have a bit of a celebration here. You're welcome to stick around if you want. Uh, you've got a lot to do at home. Oh, go on, stay for a while. We deserve it. Yeah, great. We'll do. Thanks. <laughs> Could I...? I wanted to, to have a word, uh, Mac. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, you see, the thing is, I, um, was wondering... Oh, I'm s sorry. Um, I bought these. Come in, Joe. Do you want a drink? Yeah, thanks. There you go, sweetheart. Ta. I need this. Kate. Come on. Cheers. 
Hi, Joe. Good to see you. How are you feeling? Oh, you know. I didn't know you were having a party. No, 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 no. It's, it's not a party exactly. It's, it's more of a, you know. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Shall I go out and come back in again, then? <laughs> Is that a post-mortem report? <laughs> Don't forget, if you're not in bed by nine o'clock, then Santa won't bring you any presents. Yes, he will. No, he won't. <laughs> What's all this for? I'm just helping Steve out. Like you said, we're just good friends. So why shouldn't we see each other? Yeah, you're right, of course. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get a drink. Okay. Here's your card. Oh, Joe, thanks. Thanks a lot. I uh, haven't got you on, I'm afraid. Yeah, I know. You didn't expect to see me. Right. Look, I can't pretend that this isn't awkward. Sorry, Mac. Yeah, me too. Believe me. Hold that. What's up, Rana? Max has gone out for a fag. This is my last chance. Good luck. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, thank you. Oh, Come out with some peace and quiet. That's not about you. Ashley, I wanted a word, Mac. Well, that's right, you did. Well. You okay? There's no easy way to say this, Mac. Mm -hmm. I'm resigning. Oh. I've got this idea for a virtual surgery, you know, on the internet. Just like that? No, I've been thinking about it for some time now. Obviously. So you're fed up with dealing with patients face to face, are you? Oh, I just think I can provide a better and more efficient service online. And this would have nothing to do with making shed loads of cash. God, why don't you talk to me? I am talking to you. After you've made up your mind. Yeah, well, you know, I'm in a difficult position here, you know? Look, Rana, I know you're disappointed not being a partner, and I know you don't like being a junior member, and I understand that. But I've always tried to support you. What, like you tried to support me when I diagnosed that patient with CJD? Rana... I was right, and you didn't believe me. Rana, you know that I... And what about the sexual harassment case? That nearly cost me my career. I'm sorry you feel like that. I thought we were friends. Well, if we really were friends, we wouldn't be having this conversation. That's how it is, is it? And there's nothing I can say can make you change your mind. Sorry. Any advice? Yeah. Don't do it. I'm going. Don't. Please, Chris, I thought we talked about this. I don't want to talk. <sighs> no, I've made up my mind. Well, let me try and change it for you, then. <sighs> Two minutes. Helen, everything you said earlier made perfect sense for you. But I can't let you go. I need you. The past few months with you, I felt like a different person. It's like you found the real me. And I found the real you. You're going back to Phil because you should do. Not because you want to. You want me. And the person you are when you're with me. God, that's what I want too. It's too dangerous. Helen, this isn't a rehearsal. If you want to go back, and be a good wife and mother, then I'm not going to stop you. But just think what we're throwing away. I can't go on lying. Then don't. What do you mean? Leave him. Can't you see he's smothering you? No. No, it's over, Chris. OK. OK. One last kiss. OK. 
Come on. It's Christmas. Helen, we should be going. Oh, I, I think she's in the loo. Um, you take Claire and I'll tell her that you're looking for her. Hmm. Are you all right? Sure, I'm fine. Um, I'll tell her you're waiting. Kate, this isn't what it looks like. All those hours I've been listening to your stories, it's all lies. You don't understand. Oh, yes, I do. You've been using me. This is exactly what I didn't oh, want. Oh, I'm sure. How are you going to explain this to Claire? What if she tells Phil? What if she does? I've got to talk to oh, her. Don't you dare! Bad enough you've been lying to everyone without making a, a three-year-old do the same. What have I done? Daddy. Well, cheers for that, brother. Here's this pride. What do I owe you? Ah, uh, forget about it. Hey? Eh? Your Christmas present, all right? Yeah, sure. So, what's going on over there? Haven't a clue. Max enjoying himself. Oh, yeah. You haven't heard, have you? Guy's pregnant. Yeah. Ruth told me. It's lovely. I just hope he knows what he's doing, bringing another life into the world. Merry Christmas. Joe. I'm all right. I'm all right. Look, I do know what you're going through. Do you? Yeah, I do. Sorry. Look, if it's any consolation, I know that Mac had nothing to do with Jess's death. Joe. Any more red, darling? <laughs> Champagne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did it go with Mike? Oh, it wasn't as bad as I expected. Good. It was worse. <laughs> okay, right, everybody. Um, <clears throat> can we have a bit of hush? Can I just have your attention for a moment? I promise you, I won't be long. Um, right now, you are probably wondering why I've called you all here tonight. <laughs> well, it's been a long year. Yes. Uh, we've had our ups, we've had our downs, we've had our difficult times, and we've had one or two good times. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, there have been times when I have wondered why I'm a doctor, that's for sure. There have been times we've wondered if you're a doctor. <laughs> no, no, and there have been other times when I have known exactly why I'm a doctor. And I expect you all feel the same. So, um... <laughs> Uh, look, Kate, Kate, um, would you come round? Um, this is one of those good times. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Kate, come on, love. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, Kate McGuire hey. is the reason why we're here. <laughs> now, look, 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 I don't want to embarrass Kate. Any more than you have done already. No, no. But, but I do want to say just how ple... No, how delighted I am about her... about our good news. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Look, Kate, I do know that I don't deserve you, honestly. <laughs> too right. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Look, look, Kate has changed me. And I'd like to change her, but I have lost the receipt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but seriously, though, folks, um, I just want to say how proud I am. Well, not only of Kate, which goes without saying. I mean, where would we be without her? But I am proud of all of you here at Riverside. Hmm? We have lost someone recently uh, who was very close to us. And I know that coming to terms with that is and will go on being very difficult. And particularly so at this time of the year. Hmm? Oh, look, just one more thing. And then I, then I finish, I promise. Um, <laughs> do you want the good news or the bad news? Well, the bad news is that Rana is leaving Riverside. What? No, 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 no. The good news is that he is going on to bigger and better things. Hey. hey? Rana is going to become a virtual doctor. Virtual. I know we've been saying for months that, in fact, Rana is almost a virtual doctor. <laughs> Virtually. No, seriously, seriously. 
So I know that we all um, wish him the very best in his new venture, yeah? So if you'd all, um, all try some glasses, everyone got some? Yeah. Something for Ruth, please. <laughs> Sorry. Good man, good man. Are we ready? So, raise your glasses, please, to Kate, to Rana, and chiefly, ourselves, yeah? Cheers! 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 Inspector Pabrant. Talk to Maguire. I'm sorry to interrupt your party. No, no, that's all right. We were just finishing, weren't we? Um, can I get either of you a drink? No, thank you. Dr. Maguire, is there somewhere private we can talk? Oh, why? No, it's okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yes, my office. It's, um, through here. Okay. I'm coming with you. I, th I thought you'd finished your investigation. Not quite. I'm afraid we do need to talk to your husband again. I've already told you everything I know. Have you? The toxicologist's report proves that Jesse Helm died of a massive overdose of morphine sulfate tablets. I think you know how she got hold of them. Oh, you're not serious. I'd really rather conduct this interview down at the station. I have nothing more to say. Very well. Dr. Brendan Maguire, I'm arresting you for the murder of Jesse Helm. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. <laughs> 